In a two-stroke petrol engine, lubrication occurs by mixing oil with the petrol, so oil passages are not needed. And if, like many two-strokes, air cooling is used instead of liquid cooling, there's no need for coolant passages in the cylinder head. Another difference between four-stroke and two-stroke petrol engines is how they deliver air-fuel mixture to the cylinder. In a two-stroke petrol engine, separate passages called ports let air-fuel mixture into the crankcase and cylinder and exhaust gases out. They're covered and uncovered by the piston as it moves up and down the cylinder. In the four-stroke petrol engine, the inlet and exhaust ports are opened and closed by valves. These valves need a system to control how they work. The valve is held in place by a valve guide with a spring on its stem. A rocker arm is attached to a stationary shaft that allows the arm to pivot. The rocker arm compresses and releases the valve spring so that the valve opens and closes. Let's run the cycle again. The piston moves up the cylinder. The top of the piston covers the exhaust port, the bottom uncovers the inlet port. Air fuel mixture enters and circulates in the sealed crankcase below the piston. The piston rises and compresses the mixture above it. A spark plug ignites it and it burns. Pressure from the expanding gases pushes the piston down in a power stroke. The top of the piston uncovers the exhaust port and lets exhaust gases escape. The bottom of the piston covers the inlet port and forces air fuel mixture up into the now open transfer port. The piston reaches bottom dead centre and the crankshaft forces it back up to repeat the process. Notice which events occur above the piston. Compression of the air fuel mixture into the combustion chamber, combustion for the power stroke and scavenging of the exhaust gases. Notice the events that occur below the piston. Intake into the crankcase, pre-compression of the air-fuel mixture in the crankcase and the transfer of mixture from the crankcase through the transfer port and into the combustion chamber.